Hello magical box lovers and welcome back to my channel. My name's Helen, I'm 45 years old and I live here in a very cloudy, bit dull and cold Derbyshire but it is at the end of September so it is what it is but that means next month is October and of course we are getting Samhain. So I'm so so looking forward to next month and hopefully I'll be bringing some really good boxes for you and um, so yes I'm really really looking forward to that and of course today we are here for the witch casket and it is for the last one of this month and it is for the month of September uh, witch casket did have a problem with this box and they did keep us all updated with emails and there was a logistic well, I can't say it logistics problem uh, with the box uh, but they did let us know in advance that it was going to be a bit late and as soon as uh, it was available they let us know that it had been shipped and I got it like the next day so thank you very much witch casket for letting us all know and keep us informed so very you know very very thoughtful on their part so that's why this video is a little bit later as you know I tend to do my videos in a clump uh, but roughly you get about five videos a month from me uh, you may be getting an extra one next month or being well I'm trying to get my hands on another box hopefully it'll be here for next month I don't know yet fingers crossed all being well so this is what you've come for, which is September's Witch Casket. Oh, now I've obviously had a sneak peek because you know what I'm like. I have not looked in depth. All I do is I just take out the little noodle doodles, just purely so I'm not getting things out and they're just going flying everywhere because you don't want to see that on camera. So I saw some things and I'm like, this looks absolutely amazing, this box. With what? At a glance look it kind of looks like it could be the Halloween box so I am super super excited I only received this box yesterday so I'm filming it today so I'm like I've, I've got to share this with you guys because I am so excited for this box so first things first I will just show you the outer packaging uh, so the outer packaging is quite discreet there's nothing witchy on it it says fragile there and on the back sent with love from the UK and that little bit there just says 100% I can show it yet 100% biodegradable the, on the address on the return address there is nothing that says which casket anything which related it's just their address the unit that they are and then the street address and so on so there is nothing on the outer packaging which related whatsoever uh, obviously I don't know what the QR code so the postman might be able to say, see what it is I don't know that uh, but yeah out of packaging is very very discreet okay the box itself as usual standard witch casket is absolutely beautiful I struggle to get rid of these boxes because they are so cute look at those the detail you know this is absolutely so beautiful so we'll open the box together Get the contents out quickly and then I'll go in depth as usual with each item. So here we go. So this is September 2022, which casket. That is their social media information. I'll just give you a few moments if you want to make a note of that, if you've never had a witch casket before. If you just type in witch casket, you will find them on quite a number of platforms, Instagram, Facebook, and I do believe that is Tumblr. I don't do Tumblr myself, so I can't give you any information about Tumblr. There you go. I originally found Witch Casket through Instagram. So here we are. So, <laughs> excuse me, I'm just trying to get a better position for you. There we go. Right, so. All I've done is literally just took the little noodles out. With those little noodles, they dissolve in the sink, so they are completely biodegradable. <laughs> they dissolve, so you don't have to put them in recycling. You just dissolve them in the sink. Use a bit warmer water, and it gets rid of them a lot, lot quicker. So, which casket? That is their ingredients list, as I like to call it. And it is for, what are we, spiritual connections. You understand why I thought it was more of a Halloween-y theme 
and obviously it's for September 22. I'll show you this because I tend to forget to show you the back of it and it's what people have actually sent in. There are the photographs of people's um, caskets. Um, so I will refer to that if I need to, but I'll try my best not to. Obviously you don't want to keep seeing me go through a leaflet. So you get one of those. This, I, there was a sticker on the back. All I've done is just took the sticker off just purely so it's going to be a bit quicker. I'm not feeling with a sticker for the video. It's just for the sake of the video that I've done that. I have, I've been ever so good. I haven't looked what's inside, even though I'm so desperate to see what it is. This is the art print. Sorry, it's that way. How amazing. See what I mean? How everything looks Halloween-y. That's, I'm just getting that vibe. I really am. And this, I've no idea. I was like, <laughs> I thought, whoop, we got cards, and they're like, it's, it's super heavy, whatever it is. But yeah, it's a really, really, it's a heavy box. And this, so we've got the badge. So that looks like the crystal. We've got, and it's my colours, black and purple are my colours. So she was just changed her hair from purple to silver. <laughs> It was white, I did go white, but I didn't like it. So I've gone silver instead of white. It just, I, I, I'm currently watching the new Game of Thrones. So I, I, went, I went Targaryen with my hair and then I changed it to Valerian. <laughs> just did not suit me at all, did not suit me. It's still the shrine hair drops that are used as for the purple hair. And it's still the same that I've gone. Obviously, I've, I've had my hair cut and then bleached by the lovely Laura. Hello, Laura. At uh, Scissor Sisters in Johnfield. Hi, Amy, as well. Um, yeah, they're absolutely amazing. If you want to check them out at Johnfield Scissor Sisters. The lovely Laura cuts and she bleaches my hair and then I go home and have a play. Because it's never the same colour that I went home with it before when she used to colour it. So that's why I go home and play. So There we go. Right, so no idea. I didn't read, I haven't read what any of this is. And when I saw that, I immediately thought of you know, the magic eight balls that you shake. I immediately thought of one of those. This is obviously it's the book of shadows scrolls. Well, not obviously, if you haven't seen one of these caskets, I'm you know, I apologize. Um, all I've done is I've just unpicked. Um, the little sticker that was holding it together because I like to keep the little stickers because they change each month so they go to the trouble of um, changing them each month so I go to the trouble of unpicking it so I can keep it each month that's just, just my way <laughs> and then we have something really big there we go I'll keep that till last so oh no tell a lie the incense my box is empty so there we go a lot to get through a lot to get through right get comfy limber up seat pull forward head not chopped off no not too bad hey right so where to start where to start so i've got the information thing there we'll start with the art card we'll start easy first so the art card that's beautiful that you see the actual detail on there, it's absolutely beautiful. So it's a witch casket exclusive and it's usually somebody called Mel. Uh, I'll just see in little booklet because I do like to uh, see who actually um, does these art prints because they are absolutely beautiful and I do like to uh, mention who has done them if, if obviously I can find the artist. So I'm just trying to to find it whilst you have a good look um, so it is unlocking your third eye print which casket exclusive this opulent print was lovingly created by our in-house de in, in designer especially for you um, so it doesn't actually say who actually painted it or drew it uh, is their in-house in-house designer but that is absolutely beautiful I love that and I, I really do like that there's something special about that I really like that very much it's got a lot of depth to it I quite like that there we go this I'm super intrigued because it's 
an envelope of something. So yeah, there was a little sticker on there that I tried to save, but unfortunately it, it ripped. Uh, so yeah, charm straight away, charmed. I absolutely love that show. Uh, obviously, I've got the box there. Loved it all. Absolutely binge watched it when each episode came out, and then I had to have the box set. Binge watched it. I've watched it got about five times each time. And I haven't watched the new series of it. You know, how they've revamped it. I have got series one, but I haven't watched it yet. So let me know any thoughts below. What you guys think to to the old Charmed and the new Charm because. Part of it helped me, uh, I mean, originally Buffy the Vampire Slayer with, of course, Willow helped me to find my way a little bit. Um, and it, it started thinking, well, actually, it's becoming more socially acceptable to be a witch and things like that. It started to become more socially acceptable and you could be a bit more open about it because in them days, in the 90s, it wasn't as much as, well, obviously it wasn't then. It wasn't as much known as being publicly out there as what it is now. Now it's absolutely amazing and I love that everyone and anyone, you can be yourself now and I absolutely love that, especially in the witchcraft community. We can be ourselves finally, we can be free and I love that. I, I've, been, I've been a witch for over 20 years and it's only the last couple of years that I've actually found the courage to come out of the broom closet. And it's through making these videos that I've used that as a platform to do that. So I thoroughly thank you, my subscribers and the watchers, um, for helping me to do that and giving me the courage to be able to do that. Because that is a big thing for anyone who's in the same situation to be able to do that and I'm sure anyone who is in that situation completely understands as well. So thank you very much for each of you. It truly does mean, mean the world to me. All the support that you have given me. So thank you very much. There we go. Right, so back to what we're doing. Sorry, I do go on a tangent as you know. Uh, so yes, yeah, so I'm super intrigued to find out what these are. No worries, what is this? <laughs> okay, so it looks like a fluffy cloud. Okay, so we've got the pentacle symbol there and it folds out. What I've got to see. So it's charm envelopes. Use these enchanting envelopes to place in place of charm bags or bottles. Fill with magical items to match your desires and seal with intent. Oh, so, oh, so, let me just see, so. DIY class coming up right so you fold them. if you've got these you just fold them like you would do like an envelope obviously but when you're doing it pop your intention as you're doing it. don't just do like I'm doing right now just folding it and tuck when you're doing it sit magically and do it put your intention in every single fold every single fold put your magical intention and obviously I would do it if I'm wanting to get rid of something. I would do it anti-clockwise. You know, you're banishing, remember, anti-clockwise. If I'm wanting to draw something to me, I would do it clockwise. So that's another little thing as well. So as you're going round, obviously you've got it like that. So as you're going round to do your, like that, go around clockwise or the reverse. That is just my little spin. It doesn't say anything about that to do that there. Um, so, there we go. So you can do it like that or like that. Probably that like that. And then you... I love that idea. So then you just fold it up. And you've got like a little... I mean, I'm just doing this quite quickly. Uh, so you can see how it works doing it quite quickly quite rushed it works yeah but if you sat and put like your intention in it and did it and then of course paper card you can burn it brilliant idea brilliant idea and what I would also do if you do love this idea don't forget this is card I would keep one of these as a stencil 
draw around it and make quite a few. They've given us, how many have we got? We've got three. I love that idea. Never thought of doing it before. Obviously when I'm doing my petitions, I, what I actually use for petitions, I made my own like coffee stain paper. You just get, just get a big, um, I've used you know, like a, an old litter tray for my cats, obviously disinfecting to dafters, you know, um, like a litter tray or something, or a baking tray, something like that, something that's deep. Just put old coffee grains with, or even just a half mug of your coffee. It doesn't have to be freshly brewed, it can be old brewed, what, whatever. Just put it in there, not hot, just put it in, in there and then just soak just like pieces of paper let them dry i just let them soak just for a bit let them dry and then they do cockle up a bit and it looks like old-fashioned writing paper you know when they've gone and you can use all sorts of things anything that you can think of really to make something a bit more muckier or you can use uh, food colorings food dye you could even use like things like beetroot thing anything to dye pieces of paper and that's what i use for my petitions i make my own paper so I've got different coloured papers for different coloured intentions. I have different coloured pens for different coloured intentions. And then it all adds fuel to what you're doing for the intentions. So yeah, make your own um, templates, different coloured papers as well. Brilliant. I love that idea. Thank you, Witch Casket. So that's what's inside that. So next, I've... ah, ah. We've got a double thing here. Right, so I, I just saw what that was and I'm like, I know what that is. Oh, do you know, the design is beautiful. We've got wax, you know the wax seals for when, you, when you're doing your spell jars, you put the wax seal on. Look how beautiful, actually the can, uh, candle, the camera's just actually doing it really nicely now that could have just been plain the rest of it is plain but how beautiful is that design I don't want to use them so what you do is you use these in a traditional sense you just burn them like you would do a candle and then you drip them on top of your um, spell jar or even like your envelope and then I've just seen what goes with it we've actually got a stamp I've actually got one of the little burners it's like a little holder where you've got like a little dish that you could put little wax beads in and then you like tip it over um, or you could just you don't need these you can use your own candle so when you're burning your candle for the spell you can use the candle from that wax to use onto your spell jar so then the intention that you put behind that candle any oils any extra things that you've added to that candle is then going on the top of the spell jar to seal all that intention in Oh, now I've got one of these. I've only got one and it's one with uh, a pentacle on it. And I always put the extra oomph on it. When I seal my spell jars or anything, I always go, so mote it be with a, I think I've said that on other videos. I rather than just stamping it, I always go, so mote it be, and then stamp it. Put my intention on every tiny aspect. You know, like I just said with the fold, Put your intention in every single thing possible and it it will help your spells improve more and yeah just little little things like that it really really does uh, you know make things more <laughs> so this is exactly like the one that I've got to be honest and you can buy these just separate. You don't have to buy them all. So I'm super impressed that we've got the entire thing. So normally you can just buy the ends and just like screw them on uh, or clip them on dependent on the design. So I'm super impressed that we've got the entire lot. And it is an all C and I. How amazing is that? So these aren't really all that cheap. So I'm impressed that we've got that my two favorite colors black black purple silvery grays my colors absolutely love them so yeah i do love that design they remind me of like um, church candles but yeah that i can't believe that i'm, I'm like cool i'll be I'll, guess what i'll be doing tonight i'll be making 
spell envelopes. That's me done. Right, box is done now. I'm going to play. <laughs> uh, right, next I'll do the crystal of the month. So what do we have? So it's got to be an amethyst. It's got to be an amethyst. It's purple. It's, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I am. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Let's have a look. So as usual, we'll get the little little information card. Sorry, it did come in a, in a baggie as well. And always keep these baggies for your charms, your spells. And if you have them colour coordinated as well, like I've just mentioned, like the candles, uh, coloured papers, that also adds as well. So if you keep them from your boxes, you're not uh, going, oh, I need a specific, specific colour. If you have enough of these boxes like what I do, I've got, have got to every single colour. So it always comes, says she, upside down with a lovely little card and I love that little crystal ball. It is a le lepid, I can't say it, lepidolite, can't say it. That's, I haven't got one so here we go. So lepidolite uh, brings deep emotional healing and soothes anxiety and depression. Oh. This allows for clearing of blockages, deeper spiritual connections and heightened intuition. Oh, I'm definitely going to be using this. I'll pop that on my divination altar. I love that. I can see now it's not amethyst. You know, because obviously I don't like have a good look at it here. I use it straight for the camera. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. It's actually quite... It's actually heavier than amethyst. I should have known. You know, when I got it out, I should have known. But yeah, that's beautiful. I like that. Purple, purple, because I like it. I love that. And I don't know if you've, anyone's noticed, I've got my new bracelet from Zox. It arrived. And I love it. I love the inscription. Each, each one has an inscription on the inside. Plain and simple. Love wins. Love it. And they all come with a, a little card as well. Uh, with like a poem or an inscription and I absolutely love the poem that came with it. Check out the Zox website, they've got beautiful ones, really have and I've got quite a few of them now and they're just lovely bands, really are nice bands and I just like wearing them. I like the meaning behind them and what you know what they mean and such so yeah new, new band in case anyone noticed. <laughs> uh, right so that's that do the pin next. I'm saving the best till last, you probably noticed. So as usual, they've gone to town on the back. I love these keys. So because I, I worship Hecate, the keys have a special meaning to me as well. Uh, so I do like those. And this, this one I'm actually going to put on my altar for Hecate. So I'm going to obviously, I'm going to dedicate it and do it as an offering for her. So thank you very much, uh, Witch Casket, for that. That is beautiful. So of course Hecate is the keeper of the keys. I think that's beautiful. I love it. There we go. I really do like that. So yes, Hecate is now. It belongs to her. <laughs> um, with the last two boxes, you notice I've got this serpentine stone in both boxes, both Freya's Cauldron and for which box? Baba Yaga and Hecate. Um, they both have them now, so I got nothing. <laughs> so I gave them to each each of them um, because they both have snakes, both uh, other symbols. So I, I gave them both as offerings. So thank you very much, Witch Box and uh, Freya's Cauldron. I just thought it was a nice um, an offering as it's, it's symbolic as well. So that's that's what I did. There we go. So I've still got lots to get through. So I'm trying to go as quickly as possible because uh, I'm aware of the time and you know how I like to wrap it on so next one I'm going to open this one I know I know I say I don't open them because I've got a lot of ones that I've opened to get through before I go through the new ones but this is spiritual connection incense how can I not open it and smell it so it says, light the incense and affirm, I align myself with spirit and allow my intuition to guide me. This is getting opened. Yes, I haven't got this fragrance combination together. I have got them separate, but not together. Frankincense and sandalwood. 
I'm opening it. <laughs> I'm opening it. I've been good. I've been good. And unfortunately, it's one of them that when you've opened, it's a bit opened. Yeah. Ooh. It's a very heavy, heavy frame. So it's what you expect it to be. Let me see if I can get one out. Are they just black ones? Oh, yeah, the black ones. Oh, that smells nice. I'll be using that one later. I always like to, at night time, I like to say my, what I call my evening prayers. Uh, when I say like my devotions to like Hecate. And I also talk to Baba Yaga as well. And I've also got my spirit guides as well. Um, I've got a mandrake spirit as well. Who's called Amber Albertus. He's one of my friends. And I also like to do my divination. I do my scrying and uh, my cards. And that's what I like to do each evening. I do all that. Um, I also like, my, like to do my incense at night as well, whilst it sets the mood. It's, it's just my little rituals that I do at night. I just call it, I'm saying my prayers. Um, even though I don't particularly do it in a prayer format, it's just how I say it. Um, I, I just talk to them, to be honest. That's, that's, that's how, I, how I work. Um, and it's just something that's always worked for me, just, just talking. And I find it's a really good way of... Um, getting things off your chest as well you know uh, I tend to talk to Baba Yaga more about things like creative things um, it's like I've recently started to learn cross stitch and it's through uh, learning about Baba Yaga that I've started to um, learn cross stitch I've never learned about it before and uh, so I talked to her about new new patterns and things like that and I, I'm also a knitter as you can, as you can see with the things that I do and so I talked about new knitting things and things but I would not talk to Eckhart eh, about things like that. I talked to things about the house, the home, the spiritual things. So it's, it's good to have the balance of completely different things. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's really good. And like my, my Mandrake spirits, he's, he's like, he's like um, a friend, if you will. Uh, so he's somebody who I confide in and things like that. So, so yeah, I, it, it's good to have that really nice balance of spiritual friends as I call them that are in, in my house as well as well as my beloved husband and my two dogs as well there we go right so we'll do this because I'm super intrigued so as you know I'm a lover and collector of baggies and anything that sounds like I'm a bag lady but you know what I mean so typical witch um I collect everything and anything, bottles, right from a very, very, very early age. So it was always written in the stars for me, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I love this bag and I'll be using it for my cards. There we go. So it's like a canvas bag. So, oh, I've just put my hand, I, I, don't, I don't know what I expected it to be, but I didn't expect it to feel like that. <laughs> it feels like stone. <laughs> And I didn't expect that. Oh, can't get it out. Hang on. What is it? Okay. Oh, is it a coat? I think it's a coaster or like a mat or it's got oh, it's got like card design. So it's like some type of place, type of place mat. Oh, that's that's better. I suppose you could put your tarot card of the day on it. That's probably what I would do. Uh, just bear with me just whilst I look and see what they have actually said it is. So, it is a Spiritual Connections altar tile. There we go. So, there's myself as a coaster. But you could use it as a coaster. It's a piece of slate. So, you could use it for like, it's like heat proof. Um, but it's quite thin. So, you could use it for like, uh, you could use it for like putting your cauldron on top. So it would be quite safe for that or if you're making spell jars, uh, you know, for the wax, I always use, um, I've got some slate that I do put my spell jars on, pour the wax on the top and then any wax that goes on, it just pulls straight off. It's a lot easier. Don't do it on your altar and trying to pick it off of your uh, altar cloths. So it says on here, celebrate the art of divination and spiritual connections with our exclusive slate altar tile. Altar tiles can be used to rest your chalice when not in use. Oh, there you go. I actually don't rest my chalice on anything. Uh, I just put it directly onto my altar cloth. 
to protect your sacred altar they can also be infused with energy and used as a surface for your herbs crystals incense burners or candles like i say i use them a lot for like putting candles on um or resting you know if i've got a um candle snuffer i'll rest a candle snuffer on like the corner uh like uh, if we're doing incense so it'll, if you've got one of those incense burners that doesn't catch the ash it'll catch the ash uh anything really it'll protect the surface really well i like that but like i say you can always use it in your tarot because it's got the cards on there you could even put like a tea light somewhere for your you know that's that's my card of the day uh yeah i like that i like that it's reminded me of um you know on pan's labyrinth when they has the hand the eyes on the hand and i'm not doing it because it freaked me out that film as you know i'm a huge fan of horror films but that 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 creature with the eyes on the hands whoa that was absolutely amazing absolutely amazing that scary that's why it's amazing but yeah, that just reminded me that. <laughs> um, on to the subject of eyes and this. What was that? I have not opened this. I haven't opened any of these. What's this? I hope it's not breakable because I'm rattling it. So I think, how does it, oh, it opens like this. Does it, yeah. Oh, it's magnetic. <laughs> So it's a mag mag magnetic box so I have not opened this Ooh. what I wasn't expect oh, oh we I think we've got a spell yeah because like, I haven't seen a spell have we no we haven't had a spell so this will be a spell and it looks like a spell jar spell so we've got a standard decent sized spell jar Her. Oh, they're nice. Oh, now they're nice amethyst. Quite a few. I'll get them out and show you in a minute. A key. Oh, the keys. That's a nice key. I like that. Um, the herbs. Right, so the box is empty. I really like, as you know, I'll be keeping that box. Don't know what for yet, but that'll be really nice to keep. Something I keep like a spare pendulums in there or something divination i've got some divination coins that could go in there i'll think of something so what is this for in it's an intuition spell jar oh so we've got ameth uh, um, we've got amethyst lavender. so we've got lavender quite a lot of lavender and amethyst there we go I'm just opening up the uh, amethyst and of course I've got the little baggies as well as you know I'll be keeping all these but please reuse these for like your charm bags and that don't just think oh crack she's just keeping everything for keeping sake no I use these for spells you know even if it's just for like a dream pillow you know you put your herbs in there even if, even if it's just like putting chamomile and lavender in you know it is Sometimes I'll just, you know, for under my pillow, I like to put certain crystals depending on what I'm wanting. And instead of just putting the crystal in the pillowcase, I always put them in a baggie so that I can find them easier. And sometimes um, I'll, if I, th if I think about it, I'll actually attach it, you know, depending on the size of the crystal. I will actually get, a, you know, a little safety clip and I will attach it inside with the safety clip into the pillowcase with the baggie. Helen's into the day. <laughs> there we go. You were waiting for that, weren't you? <laughs> right, so we've got a lot of these amethyst chips and they are beautiful ones as well. You know me and my amethyst. I love me and my I love me and my amethyst. Look at that one. I mean, I wouldn't call these chips. They're nearly chunks. So they're beautiful i'm going to put them in the in the jar already so yeah as as you know cleanse these jars use uh, use your incense that's what i do cleanse outside inside 
I like to really smoke the jar as well and let it sit by popping the top on it. Look how much we've got there. I'm really impressed with how much we've got there. So you'll only need like one or two of them really. So don't think that because you've got that many, you need that many to make the spell work. You don't, you only perhaps need one or two, one even. And then you've got a lot for all the spells. Another hint of the day. Same with that. The lavender, don't think you need all of that. You can obviously fill the jar up to make it look pretty, but the rest of it you can either give back to nature, I like to give back to nature, uh, or you can, like I say, make a dream pillow, pop some in there, even if it's just, just the lavender, you can put some other um, other crystals in there, so even some more amethyst in there, the other amethyst chunks, pop them together, pop them in your pillow like I say, there you go. So don't feel like you have to use everything up for that one spell, you don't, you can save some back. Oh and of course we've got the lovely key, I'm going to get that out. So you could always, when you're doing your wax seal, you could, what would be nice is to pop the key on top of the jar, seal with the wax over the top then the key is on top of the jar if you're with me that would be quite cool that you know do it flat not like stuck up or anything like that. do that flat that'd be quite pretty but i really quite like this key i'm sorry hecate's she's going to be taking this key as well i am sorry witch casket your keys are getting claimed today these these keys are far too, as much as I love it, for me, for a spell, somebody else will be having this key. So, yeah, she's she's claiming my goodies today. <laughs> She'll love this. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. If you can't give you a gift like that, you know, some your goddess then who can you give it to yep so keeping them back for the goddess i'm sure uh, which casket will be quite happy for that there we go i've got lots of other things that i can add to that jar. right so we've got down to two i'm keeping the big one till last so we are on to the skulls. So as usual, I don't read these out because I encourage you to go out and buy these boxes. Plus a lot of the boxes do hold copyright on a lot of the spells and the, you know, these scrolls and things. If you check out which casket site, they do actually sell these. They're only cheap. They're only a few pounds. Go and find them. Brilliant. I highly recommend them. Also, if you do want to get free spells, anything free witchcraft related go on Instagram you don't have to go click 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 trying to you know oh what she said there what what they're doing what they're holding up you don't have to do any of that a lot of creators they will list everything down for you so you can just write it down do a save click one thing write it down so you don't have you know to try and pause your video and see oh what does that word say none of that creators actually do it so you can actually write down okay so that's why i don't hold it up it's mainly for co copyright and and to protect the people who created these wonderful boxes so yeah so as usual it's sealed with amazing seal so i'll hold it in the background so you can see the presentation beautifully presented and uh, basically it's all about spiritually spiritual connections and at the bottom it lists some herbs that you can use in teas, brews to aid you when you meditate. So like cinnamon, dandelion, hyssop, lemon, and so on. There we go. Like proper parchment paper as well, so beautiful, love it. Right, last one, if you stuck with me this long, thank you very much. <laughs> so, oh it's a mug, I've just read what it is. It's either a gum <laughs> or a mug. Oh, I love me my mugs. So it says, brew with intent and drink mindfully. Stir clockwise to attract, clown, 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 counter clockwise to banish. 
dishwasher and microwave set safe. I have not opened this, so I am super excited to open it with you guys. So let me just get it started. Ooh! I'm loving the inside. some tea leaves oh I absolutely love it it's a, a weighty mug I, I think I was expecting something you know what you normally see on the shelves you know your, your typical thing that you can get off like eBay or Amazon but this I've never seen one like this before and the crystals and the moons and the herbs the flowers and the eyes the inside I absolutely love it guess what I'll be having later but yeah it's a nice I love I love my mug I, I don't you know I don't own the full set of the same mugs I have mugs like this all different mugs and it's a really it's a big mug big a big mug you know a hug mug in a hug or a hug in a mug one or two. Anyway, that's me done for now. Thank you very much for joining me for this, the last box in September. Can't wait for next month. I really can't wait. So thank you so much for joining me. And uh, I will see you again next month. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And yes, please still say stay safe. And yeah, I hope you have a magical day. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now. Bye.